Infinite Season 3's Fracture Event Firewall begins on March 21st, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the various cosmetics you can unlock in this upcoming event. So if you do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here, as I really do appreciate it and it really does help the channel out. And let me know down in the comments if you're excited for this upcoming Fracture. Now without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight in. Unlike the Tenrai and Entrenched events, Firewall will only have 20 tiers rather than 30, and given the circumstances, this does make sense. Season 3 is obviously much shorter than Season 1 and 2, being only 3.5 months rather than 6. And the Fracture event will appear a total of 4 times rather than 6 times. And since you'll have 10 challenges, 10 event challenges every week this event's out, it'll only take 2 weeks to get the entire thing finished. The only problem is, this does mean there's much less to unlock for this upcoming core, and players overall will have a lot less variety unless they plan on spending money. But I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing, as the event does still offer a good chunk of free cosmetics, and we'll start talking about those now. At Tier 1, you get the Kindle Probe Backdrop. I don't really have much to say about this, it's a backdrop. The next item is the Recursive Composition Emblem. This appears a total of 4 times in the past, first at Tier 2, then Tier 6, Tier 11, and Tier 16. You get it as an armor emblem, a vehicle emblem, a weapon emblem, and a nameplate. It is a pretty cool emblem, don't get me wrong, but it does annoy me that five of these slots are dedicated to a backdrop and then an emblem four times. That is a quarter of the pass. The next reward at tier three is the Burnt Chrome Warthog Coating. Burnt Chrome also appears multiple times during this pass. You get it for the Warthog, then at tier four you get it for the armor. This coating is only on the Chimera Core, at least for now. You also unlock it for the Mongoose, the Hydra Launcher, the Rocket Hog, and the Wasp. These appear at Tier 3, Tier 4, Tier 7, Tier 8, Tier 12, and Tier 17. Burnt Chrome is a really cool coating, but again, it's kind of annoying to see the same reward plastered at multiple points in the pass. But I'm not going to complain about another free Hydra Launcher skin, that's cool to see. The armor coating also looks great, and the vehicle ones look really nice too. This is probably one of the best coatings we've had for the Wasp, especially a free one. Now at tier 5, we get the Marrow Helmet, which is the first actual piece of armor we get for the core, and this is arguably the best helmet for Chimera. In my opinion, it's my, it's my favorite one, I think it looks really cool, it's genuinely a nice helmet. And you get this at tier 5, so they only have to get 5 challenges done, and you get the Marrow Helmet. As I said, tier 6 is the emblem again, and then tier 7 and 8 are the burnt chrome coatings. At tier 9, you get the violent darkness visor, which is a really nice purple visor. And then at tier 10, you get the experiment 21c knee pads. Now, what's interesting about these, and also some of the other armor pieces we'll talk about soon, is they actually have your visor attached to them too. So within the first week, the first 10 tiers, you get a helmet, a visor, some knee pads, and then four coatings, two emblems, and a backdrop. Overall, not too bad. Now, kicking things off at tier 11, as I mentioned, it's the emblem, and tier 12 is the burnt chrome rocket hog. Tier 13 is another armor coating for Chimera, and that is the bootstrap burn coating. This one is a bit of an interesting one. It's not bad by any means, very different. Tier 14 and 15 are the Karma Wall Augmenter shoulder pads, and just like the knee pads, these have your visor attached. If you have a green visor, your shoulders are green. If you have a red visor, your shoulders are red. And honestly, I kinda like this. I think it's really cool that your armor PCs have your visor too. In a way, it's like being able to actually have a secondary color. Tier 16 and 17 are the Emblem and Burnt Chrome again for the Wasp this time. Then at tier 18, you get the Set Breakpoint Stance, which is the one where you're holding the Disrupt it. Pretty decent stance. Tier 19 is the Tag Plugin Wrist Attachment, which again, uses your visor color. And at tier 20, you get the Savior Protocol Chess Piece, which also uses your visor color. And I imagine with these armor pieces, people will create some really cool combinations here with the coatings and the visors. You'll be able to create some really nice stuff. But that does sum up the rewards in all 20 tiers. I'm not going to go over my overall thoughts in this video, I'll cover that when the event actually releases, but there is some cool things here. I'm not going to judge the pass or the event in full until it comes out. I don't know if there's a game mode attached, it's possible it'll just be Escalation Slayer, which wouldn't surprise me, but we'll find out in just a couple of weeks. I'm just really glad that the Mero Helmet is free, because I believe that is the best one on the core. Anyway, let me know down in the comments if you're excited for this event. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.